YouTube, Smoking Uncle Frank here, back again. Um, you know, lesson number one when you're doing videos, don't go back and watch your video and critique it too much. That's something I learned from matches. Um, this is going to be a VR to uh, Jordan over at the Prairie Pipe Shop. And that's why I mentioned that because uh, I, I learned, I, I, I started making videos because I was inspired by matches. I got in, back into pipe smoking and, uh, about a year ago, <coughs> quit vaping because that was kind of making me cough. I, I'm coughing now because I got a cold, a little bit of a cold. It's starting to go away, so I can finally taste again. I'm glad, too, because there's some amazing tobacco. Anyway, my first vi I, I was watching matches, and he was talking about how to make a video and he kind of can't kind of did a little tutorial in one of his videos kind of gave me some ideas and um you know don't get don't 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 be too um critical of your videos for one thing don't you can be your worst critic you can be your you really can and i've done that before and i did that today i went back and i looked at the video i did previously and i didn't like the way it came out so i scrapped it and now i'm making this one so Anyway, you just got to get past, he said, you just got to get past your nervousness that you're talking to a camera. Because you, you, you're you just looking at an inanimate object. I'm looking at my computer right now, but I feel like I'm talking to somebody. I really do. I mean, I know I am because I know you're going to be, I know there's going to be people out there watching on it, watching it and commenting on it. I'm going to get, I'm probably going to get, get Quite a few comments before the day's out. Once people get to watching it, um, that's what got me into that got me into making videos. Uh, actually, my first video was on video games, though. I, I collect video games, and, and I thought I'd try just for a lark. I thought I'd throw. A, I thought I was going to be the video game king or something. I guess I don't know, but um, I still like collecting video games. But um, I'm not going to probably not going to do much on that. Um, Unless you want me to, you want to see some more video game stuff, I'll show you. But um, and I and I enjoy playing the jaw harp. I got into playing the jaw harp, and I did a few videos on that. Although I'm not that good at the jaw harp, so I'm not gonna probably not gonna do any more videos on that. Except maybe a couple of times you might see me twanging on it a little bit, but I'm not very good at it. So uh, matches got me started. Really, it was it was watching matches and, and a couple other guys on YouTube. And I I was just inspired to do it. So I went out and I bought myself a little uh, a little Panasonic camera. I'm using my computer now. I, since then, I had gotten a, a nice computer, so I could so I could do it there too. Uh, but I got my camera. I'll take that on the road with me. I'll probably take that. That thing's going to probably go to the Chicago pipe show with me next time or next time. Um, funny thing, funny, uh, funny thing. I just realized cause I went back and I looked at my old video. This was back in, um, uh, September 12th, 2017 was my first pipe video. I did a, I did a video on esoterica mother load. That's what I called it because I had, I had, it was my birthday and I had, Gotten a whole bunch of a whole bunch of esoterica blends of tobacco my pipe shop had. I they they had put a bunch of stuff out on a table for some crazy reason, and uh, and I just went hog wild on the stuff. And I I still got a lot of it back there in my cellar right now, um, and I got a lot of it open too. I I got too much tobacco open now. If I could turn the camera here, I'd show you my my table over here. I've got probably fifteen or more jar different little jars of tobacco sitting out there just stuff that i smoke on and then and now i got this uh this one open now too another one i'll show you the tobacco comes in a real nice block big block like that i broke some of it up of course but big old crumble cake and uh it's nice it's really nice it's got a nice vinegary kind of kind of a vinegary uh ishness to it sweetness it's a, it's a virginia it's a good virginia but watching my video i realized that um 
this was, and I, and I didn't pick this pipe because of that. I just grabbed this pipe. I just decided today I wanted to. What got me, or what got me started, it, what what made me smoke it was it is it is it the poker, and I was looking at a poker over on OMS, on OMS's site, drooling over it, thinking I'd like to get that. <clears throat> He's got the Cherrywood poker too, and the Dublin. I'm, I'm there's four of them on there that I like. One of these days, but uh, not not anytime soon because. Uh, I have already got two really expensive ones coming at me. I got two, two two Costellos coming in the mail, one from Ewan Reese and one's coming from Germany. So, so I'm gonna have to put the kibosh on uh, on any more pipes or anything for a while till I get those things paid up. I'll I'll take care of them though. I always manage to manage it. So, um. But before I get too long-winded, uh, the funny thing is this this pipe here was the first pipe that I showed you, one of the first pipes I showed you in my first video. And I, like I said, I didn't pick it because of that. I just it just was coincidental because I went back and looked at it to see what the thing was like and kind of tried to get some ideas. And well. Just a funny thing that I grabbed this pipe before that. I'm sitting there smoking it, and I'm looking at the video, and I'm like, ah, I'm showing that pipe in my, my old video from two years ago, and now I'm doing a VR to Jordan and how I got into, into, into making videos on YouTube. It's enjoyable, though. I like you guys. I like, uh, I like doing this. Um, I hope you like it. I'm really liking this tobacco. This is some good stuff. Uh, I was watching um, Mike over at uh, Briar Blues today, and he was talking about uh, Watch City Cigar and Pipe. And he was talking about this Virginia blend they got there that's uh, very McClellan-like, some, somewhat McClellan-like. It's not exactly, but <clears throat> that kind of got me excited. So... They have a sampler pack. I went over there. I was going to buy their sampler pack, but uh, unfortunately, they're not, they're out of uh, the sampler packs. So that's twenty one dollars I saved, at least for now, anyway. But you know me. Uh, if I buy it and like it, you know what's going to happen. You're going to be seeing a couple, two, three pounds of tobacco on my channel. I'll be showing you that I bought. All right, but. Because I like this uh, this uh, something of 515RC1, which is real close to the red cake, which I do have. Uh, I was, I was, uh, you know, I forgot to tell you about that. I was really blessed. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, uh, he was my lurker, and then he just turned into a friend because we get together at the uh, Arlington Pipe Shop, and we shoot the shit and smoke and, you know, just have a good time. Over there, him and me and Jeff the Shep uh, Piper usually comes along, but he had gifted me some five uh, some 51 original 5100 red cake because he had a little bit of it, so he gave me a nice little sampler of it. So I've I've been able to compare them, and, and they're they're pretty damn close. So the um, the the 515 RC1 I don't know where they came up with that, but um, anyway, um, I'm thinking the RC stands for red cake. They just can't say red cake. And the 515 is something to do with the 5100, but they put a 5, and I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway, um, it's it's got a, when you smell it, it, it's got a stronger vinegary scent. Now, I don't know if that has to do with the fact that this stuff here, that I have the original red cake in my jar is definitely got some age on it. So I don't know if that if that toned it down, the, the smell smell of it, but it's taste wise, it's pretty close. It's it's they're both good. So so I found myself a nice replacement since I since I can't buy it. And I and I I mean if 
if I did find it, it would probably be really expensive. And I'm not probably not going to spend that money um, since I found that because that's really close. But uh, that Mike over Briar Blue said that that uh, there's a blend of uh, in there. Uh, it's a uh, it's a Red Virginia. I forget what it's called. Uh, I forget the name of it. I'm not going to click out of my camera right now because you know what's going to happen. My video is going to stop on me or something. It's going to get stupid. So I'll have to tell you the name of it later on. I'll put a link down below. That's what I'll do. I'll put a link down below to uh, and I'll tell you what it is and you can you can you can look at it yourself and decide whether or not it's something you might be interested in. And a link to my old bit, my first video, just in case you're interested, Jordan. How I got into it, what got me started, and what I was like then. I just, uh, I don't know. I just, I just, I just found it. It, it, it came pretty easy to me. It didn't. It wasn't at first. I, I was nervous doing it. I was, didn't know what to say. I, I. Just, stumbled around and looked at things, looked down at the floor. I was looking at stuff that I had to show you. And I still do that though. Sometimes when I have something that I'm excited about, I get away from the camera and, and I'll, I'll get distracted by what I'm looking by what I'm looking to show you instead of looking at the camera like I am now. But anyway, that's my VR to you, Jordan. I wish you a lot of luck. Um, you got some great pipes there. Your 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 uh, your your creations are, are amazing. I saw that horn pipe you did. Um, I'd love to have one of them, but uh, you know, money. <laughs> one of these days, I'll probably be contacting you though. <coughs> so don't be surprised if you hear from Smoking Uncle Frank that he wants you he commission commissioning a pipe from you. Because you got some really uh, talented hands there. Well, that's my VR to you, buddy. Good luck and uh, congratulations on the, uh, I think, it's 300 subscribers now. 300 plus. Congratulations. Bye-bye, YouTube. I'll see you all there. Smoking Uncle Frank is out.